point. Stay yeah. there, Harlan, for right, one thanks. second, please. I want to get to the tax uh, deal. The Senate could vote on a tax reform deal sometime this week. Yeah, it could be this week. One of the big selling points is economic growth. How much growth will we get? Ed Fuller is with us, Heritage mm -hmm. Foundation president. Um, it, if we get this deal done, and we know the rough outlines of it, I mean, roughly we know what it's going to contain, will we get a boom next year, an economic boom? Absolutely, Stuart. The economy, I think, will be growing at 4% plus next year because of the, the basics in this tax plan, whether you look at the Senate version or the House version. You've got full-time expensing of everything. You're closing loopholes and you're lowering the corporate rate. So you've got three components right there that are going to give us opportunities for much more growth, better jobs for real Americans. I mean, you're using the word boom uh, deliberately. You see 4% growth next year. That's, that's a big jump. From, well, look, we're at 3% now. You're talking 4% next year by, say, one year from now. That, that's a very significant jump for the economy. Oh, it really will be, Stuart, I believe, uh, very, very heartfeltly. And it, it also means that this, these projected deficits from the Joint Committee on Taxation are basically going to be taken care of because the economy is going to be that much bigger. I'm very optimistic about where we're going. I just hope that the Senate's got enough courage to uh, carry on and, and get their bill out later this week. What the big thing that the Trump base wants is economic growth, yes, but that that filters down to higher wages for working people. Will that happen? Absolutely, it's going to happen. We're already seeing with with Donald Trump's elimination of regulations uh, across the economy, we're already seeing tight labor markets in different places. And how do you deal with a tight labor market? You raise wages. That never happened during the last eight years under Obama, but now it is starting to happen under Trump. And with a booming economy, it'll happen even more, and wages are going to be going up. You're going to have a higher employment rate. The I'm congenitally optimistic, as you know, but I'm really feeling good about where we're going with tax reform. Well, do you feel good about getting it done this year? President Trump has lunch with members of the Senate Finance Committee. That's today. Then he goes to meet congressional leadership, the big four. That's tomorrow. Um, do you think that, that the Republicans in the Senate are going to come through and say, yes, we're going to agree on this deal and get it signed, sealed and delivered this year? Are you real firm on that? I really am, Stuart. One of the key players to keep your eye on right now, of course, it has been Senator Orrin Hatch, our old friend from Utah, but it's going to be Senator Mike Enzi from Wyoming, who's chairman of the Budget Committee. And the Budget Committee has to vote tomorrow in terms of whether the resolution coming forward is going to be the right one or not. And in the Budget Committee, it's a very narrow margin. It's 12 Republicans to 11 Democrats. And the ranking Democrat actually is Bernie Sanders. So... Uh, you know you're not going to get much support from the Democrat side. So the Budget Committee vote tomorrow is going to be very critical. Later this week, I think the Senate on Thursday or Friday will have its critical vote. And then it's back to conference. And President Trump's going to give us a great Christmas present with a tax, a tax bill in, a, in, in law. You know, we should interview you every single Monday morning because you always put us in a great mood. You forecast an economic boom and a great Christmas present with tax cuts this year. Mm. Good stuff, Ed Fulner. Come back anytime you like. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Ed. Thanks, Stuart. Obliged to you.